What's going on guys, I'm Name Player here and today I'm going to be showing you guys my favourite class setup for an assault rifle. This is literally my best assault rifle class and hopefully for you guys too. And I'm going to be going through the class and all the features of it and why I like it, what kind of perks I use and attachments. And it's a very interesting class indeed. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously I've got a ton more Black Ops 3 beta videos on my channel right now. Make sure you look around and there's a ton more footage including a 22 killstreak video. So I'll link that on screen right now. And also in the description for you to check out, it's an insane gameplay. Definitely make sure you don't miss out on that. But we're going to jump into the actual class and on screen right now you can see the actual class and I'm going to go through all the features real quick and then I'm going to show you some gameplay of how it actually works in action. So this of course works for any assault rifle. The one I'm using right here is my uh, Man of War. I've got it maxed up. So it's max level. It does take a little bit of grinding to actually unlock the attachments. The more you level up the weapon, the more kills you get, the more attachments you're going to unlock. So we've gone for the standard red dot sight, gone for a quick draw grip to aim down sight quicker. The fore grip reduces the recoil a little bit. And they've also got the stock, which allows you to stray faster when aiming down sight. Not a massive improvement over the past Call of Duty game. It's not as effective anymore, but still pretty effective. And I've got a long barrel on there to increase the range and make sure it doesn't drop off at those further distances. The Man of War is definitely one of those weapons which isn't as good at the very, very long ranges because of its rate of fire. Now, I've gone for no secondaries and no grenades or tacticals. I tend to do that. I tend to prefer to overpower my weapons with more attachments. Get some really key attachments that can change your gunfights and make a massive difference now in terms of perks i've gone for two i've gone for perk one is six cents this allows me to see if an enemy is very close to me it displays a little red symbol on the minimap if someone is very close and it doesn't work at long ranges it's not like a crazy range but if someone's very close to you or when i tend to use it on the other side of a door it can be very very handy it's one of those lifesaver perks and i think it's very useful i don't think it's quite a stable perk i can probably play without it but i think it's very very good and in perk two we've gone for fast hands one of my definite favorites and it allows you to throw back grenades which i think is very very handy grenades are very strong in Black Ops 3. So this allows me to throw them back without uh, having to worry about them blowing up. It resets the fuse in it and also lets me aim faster after sprinting. So it's almost like an added quick draw effect and that's what I tend to run. And I've also got some primary gunfighter wild cards in there to allow me to have more attachments. So let's take a look at the actual footage of me using it. You're going to see kind of a compilation of uh, the three assault rifles that I like to use. The main three that I use are the Man of War, which you're seeing right now. It's definitely one of the most kind of consistent weapons, like a, just a go-to weapon you can use. It's pretty good at close range, but it's got a slow fire rate so you're probably going to get outgunned if you come up against a submachine gun like the Razorback so it's definitely more of a mid-range weapon at mid-range this weapon just excels longer ranges it tends to do okay especially over a foregrip it makes it a little bit more accurate and more of like a laser beam weapon and doesn't have too much recoil and this is literally the perfect weapon for taking out people that are in windows or behind head glitches there are a lot of windows and head glitches in these Black Ops 3 maps so this is the perfect weapon for taking them out and it just dispenses people in very very few shots it's a very good assault rifle and just very consistent and you unlock its second I believe so it's quite easy to get the iron sights really aren't too good on the man of war but once you grind through the attachments and start getting some red dots and some quick draw grips you're definitely going to have a good time with this weapon and uh, one attachment that I do not recommend on this weapon is rapid fire I tried it out thought it might be useful to speed up the, the rate of fire because the man of war is quite slow rate of fire but it doesn't help much it just adds recoil and doesn't really increase the actual rate of fire by all that much so I wouldn't recommend the uh, rapid fire attachments it's definitely not one that I would go for on the man of war now into other sort of weapons that I like I definitely like the Shiva that is one of my favorites too is a single shot weapon and it does so much damage it's a two shot kill anywhere on the body and if you also put the high caliber attachment on you can get one shot headshot so it's absolutely insane does massive massive damage you need to be very accurate with the thing if you don't have like that great aim then I probably wouldn't recommend using it to be honest because it's one of those weapons that will just destroy you if you don't have good aim and you won't be landing your shots on target and you'll probably get outgunned by a lot of other weapons but if you manage to get those shots on target and have like dead shot aim you can just completely destroy people and it's a very very fast killing weapon and another fast killing weapon is the M8 a Seven. This is a beast. I've already showed you guys footage of this on my channel from Gamescom, but as you guys know, this weapon, the M87, is an absolute monster. It can just destroy people, and I haven't even got the rapid fire for it just yet. I'm still working through. You get it at level 28, which is currently the max level of the beta. They're going to extend it by a couple levels as they go through the beta, but currently the M8 is without that one of the strongest sort rifles, and this is a class I would definitely recommend for it. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this footage and a little bit of a look of my favorite class setup for the assault rifle class. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section also comment below with your favorite class setups for assault rifles as well let me know what your favorite weapon is and the attachments and perks you like to rock with that class i'll be interested to read those in the comment section down below but drop a like rating on the video if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next video